today's video i am going to explain what is a distributed lattice so this topic is related to the discrete mathematics and let's get started with the definition a lattice l less than or equal to is said to be a distributed lattice if and only if it satisfies the following properties see the first property here is a join b meet c is equal to this is a join b meet next a join c and the next one the second property here is a meet b join c is equal to a meet b join next a meet c so these two properties if it holds then we say that the given lattice is a distributed lattice see it's so simple it is so simple so a is distributed to b as well as c and here also a is distributed to b as well as c and this is a distributed lattice so we have a problem here so first one is verify the following hash diagrams so there are two hash diagrams here and check whether the lattices holds the distributive laws or not see these are the laws if they hold if they satisfy lhs is equal to rhs then we say that the given lattice from the hash diagram is a distributive lattice see here verify the following hash diagram so after verification check whether the lattices holds the distributive laws or not first one here is the lattice so here these are the hash diagrams and here 1 2 3 and 4 are given here 0 2 1 3 and i are given so this is the problem and we have to check whether the given lattices satisfies the distributive distributive properties or not see here l is said to be a distributive lattice if and only if satisfies the two conditions see the two properties here so we have to check whether the given lattice satisfies the properties so first one according to this question see here the question here is so according to the hash diagram we have one two three and four the set of the elements it's a finite set one two three four l is a lattice see see here we have a distributive loss so first the distributive law is nothing but a join b meet c is equal to a join b meet a join c so let us construct three elements from the given set of lattices so that is a is equal to one two and three now i'll apply in this so this is lhs and this is rhs and let's substitute the values of a b and c in this equation so what is a here a is equal to one meet what is b here this is two meet three and the next one what is a here this is one join b is nothing but two meet this is again a is equal to one join c is nothing but three so from the hash diagram so we have the values so two meet three so two meet three is nothing but the greatest lower bound so meet is nothing but the greatest lower bound here for two and three we have one and next a join two so one join two so out of these two the least upper bound here is two upper bound here is two this is meet and one join three so one join three see here the least upper bound here is three so from the hash diagram i am showing so one join one see here among one and one so one is the least upper bound and see here among two and three so two and three so this is meet the greatest lower bound of one two and three is nothing but one see here so 1 is equal to 1 so lhs is equal to rhs therefore the first condition is satisfied therefore we say that so a join b meet c is equal to this is a join b meet this is a join c so the first condition is satisfied and the next one coming to the second property that is a meet that is b join c is equal to this is a meet b join a meet c so a meet b a is distributed to b join and a meet c so a is distributed to 
C. So that's why it's called a distributive law. So here I have uh, constructed three elements that is A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2 and C is equal to 3. Now let's get started with substitution. So here in place of A I am substituting 1. This is meet B. What is B here? This is 2 join 3 is equal to. What is A here? This is 1 meet. What is B? B is nothing but 2 join what is a here a is 1 meet c is nothing but 3 so this is lhs and this is rhs so we have 1 meet 2 join 3 so 2 join 3 is nothing but join is nothing but the least upper bound so upper bound for these two is nothing but 4 and the next one for 1 meet 2. So, for one, between 1 and 2, see here the greatest lower bound here is 1 join. So, among 1 and 3, see here among 1 and 3, this is meet. Meet is nothing but the greatest lower bound here. And next among 1 and 4, so 1 meet 4 so 1 meet 4 meet is nothing but the greatest lower bound here among 1 and 4 the lower bound here is 1 and among 1 join 1 so among 1 join 1 1 is the what what is this 1 join meet that is upper bound so least upper bound is again 1 therefore lhs is equal to rhs so this property so this property holds if lhs is equal to rhs this condition holds therefore we say that a meet therefore a meet this is b join c is equal to this is a meet b join this is a meet c so this is property number one and this is property number two therefore from the hash diagram the second property is also satisfied from 1 and 2 so from 1 equation 1 and equation 2 we have a join this is b meet c is equal to this is a join b meet a join c and similarly this is a meet a meet b join c is equal to this is a meet b join this is a meet c if these two conditions hold then we say that the given See here, the given lattice is a distributive lattice. The given lattice is a distributive lattice. So, coming to the second question here. From the second figure, so we have this hash diagram. So, here the least element is 0 and the greatest element here is i. So, in between there are 1, 2 and 3. So, we have to check whether this lattice satisfies the distributive laws or not. See here, let's get started. Here, L is a finite element. So, the least element is 0 here and the greatest element is i. And in between we have 1, 2 and 3. So, here are the distributive laws. So, we have to check A join B meet C is equal to A join B meet A join C. So, here I have to select certain elements and here the elements here are. So, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2 and C is equal to 3 here. So, here if I substitute A is equal to 1 in place of B I am writing 2 meet 3 is equal to here also. So, in RHS side. So, here 1 join 2 meet this is one join what is c here this is three so from the hash diagram let's get started see this is two meet three so this is two meet three so two meet three is nothing but the greatest lower bound among these two so first they meet at a point zero and here one join two so among one join to one and two what is join here join is nothing but the least upper bound the upper bound is one this is again meet. This is 1 join 3. So, for 1 join 3, so we have a upper bound here as i. So, this is nothing but i. So, 1 join 0. So, this is 1 join 0. So, among these two, the least upper bound here is 1 and again 1 meet i. So, this is 1 meet i. Among these two, meet is nothing but the greatest lower bound here is again 1. Therefore, 1 is equal to 1. So, we say that LHS is equal to RHS. 
so the distributive loss holds for this therefore we say that therefore a join this is b meet c is equal to this is a join b meet this is a join c the condition 1 holds for this and the next one coming to this the second distributive law that is a meet b join c is equal to this is a meet b join a meet c so here also have selected three elements a is equal to 1 so this is b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 3 if i substitute the same thing here 1 meet so this is 2 join 3 and the next one in place of a this is 1 meet in place of b2 join this is 1 meet this value is 3 from the hash diagram so this is 1 meet 2 join 3 so what is 2 join 3 so 2 and 3 meet at a point see here i so this is nothing but the least upper bound so which is nothing but i see here if you see 1 meet 2 so 1 meet 2 meet is nothing but the greatest lower bound so the lower bound here is 2 join 1 3 so 1 meet 3 so 1 meet 3 they meet at a point this one 2 they meet at a point 2 here see here mo 1 and 3 so this is the greatest lower bound so the lower bound is nothing but 0 see here so this is 1 meet i so 1 meet i meet is nothing but the greatest lower bound so the lower bound here is 1 and here 2 joins 2 join 0 this is 2 join 0 among these two the least upper bound here is 2 so therefore 1 is not equal to 2 so the property here a meet see here a meet b join c is equal to this is a meet b join this is a meet c doesn't satisfy so does not satisfy therefore therefore the given lattice see here the given lattice is not a distributive lattice is not a distributive lattice this is how we have to check whether the given lattice satisfies this uh, distributive loss if it satisfies the distributive loss we say that see here in the first case so in the first case so it satisfies the two conditions and from one and two equations it satisfies the two conditions therefore we say that the given lattice is a distributive lattice whereas from the second hash diagram so the second condition failed therefore we say that the given mat lattice is not a distributive lattice and thank you so much for watching and i'll be uploading many more problems related to these series please have a look at those share it with your friends if you really like leave a comment and subscribe to this channel